So we've had our beautiful Alliance Paradigm for over a year and a half, and we're gonna give you an updated tour. That's right, because we've got over 70 modifications. You heard that right, 70. We guarantee this is the most modified Alliance Paradigm in the world. Absolutely, let's take a tour. What's chasing us, Martha? <laughs> Florida birds. Florida birds. I don't know what they are, but if you've seen the movie Up, we're calling them Kevin. Yeah, and they are not afraid of humans. No, because they're going right through our campsite, little turkeys. <laughs> Let's start in the front of the trailer. One of our favorite upgrades we did was this Moride pin box. We've had it for over a year. Absolutely love it. It's a preference, we know, but it's ours. And, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the Moride cord keeper. As you see, it's a tough little booger and it stays put so we don't have our wire dangling. Um, we've already had to have our wire replaced before the cord keeper, so this keeps it safe. Welcome to one of my favorite places in the trailer. As you can tell, we've done a lot of upgrades in here. We got a 1200 amp hour battery system on a Victron Energy Solar. You'll have to stick around for a later video on that one. The other thing that we've done, Hydrostar disc brakes. We have D-Max brakes with an Hydrostar actuator. I'm sure some of you don't know what that means. Basically, we have a really nice upgrade on our disc brake system. We've never had a generator in our trailer. We've never even had solar prep. So we went all in and did what we wanted to do. Neat little thing right here. That's called a Ruby. You'll have to watch other videos to see exactly how that works. But that tells us temperature, barometric pressure, and the humidity. And it's all wireless so we can see what's going on. That little red light right there, that is for our tire pressure monitoring system. That's a relay. So if you don't have a TPMS on your trailer, something I highly recommend you putting in. In the back, there's a couple lights up here. Those came from the other side of the bay. So we actually poked the wires back through and we have five lights in here when usually you only have three. One of the cool little upgrades we actually don't talk about much is our Halo View backup camera and the side markers. So when I'm towing, I actually use this feature. Chris, not so much because we all know he can tow great, but I like my little training wheels. I'm sure you're thinking, who cares about the propane bay? Well, there's more going on here, you probably realize. So we have a 30 amp breaker in here for our deployable solar panels. We also have gas stops. We're very, very serious about propane safety. And if you come around right here, you'll notice that we have a fan which vents into our propane area. And we have those fans, one on each side. That's right, trying to create negative pressure. We've got our monitor for our Victron right here. We've got four inch 12 volt fans on both sides and then we have a thermostat. The thermostat is in the sensors in the middle and that automatic, automatically comes on and off depending on the temperature in the bay to create negative pressure so that we don't have to worry about overheating our Victron inverters. Now, this big lovely machine right here is one of Martha's and I's favorite items. This is a Mori cargo tray. Inevitably, anytime I needed anything, I would have to come way back here. Well, that's fine if you pull the tray out, but if you don't have a tray, that's a long way in and a lot of work. To me, this was a much needed upgrade. Only downside to this, I will tell you guys in advance, weighs 150 pounds, so you gotta keep in mind your cargo capacity. But it's a saving grace because we would have to pretty much empty half the bay to get something and then put it all back. Yep. It's like For Tetris me, it's every worth single time. Every ounce of weight. This, this is Martha's little happy place right here. What do we got here, Martha? So that is a Moride freezer tray and it carries to up to 250 pounds and it comes out 200% and it holds my baby Traeger. That's right. Martha and her grill. She's serious about her barbecue life, y'all. Come on over here. So I want to point out some lights right here. We talked about at the front where we removed the lights. So they had those little puck lights. Well, now you see with the solar system we have here, the puck lights got moved to the other side. So we put in LED light strips all the way across and illuminated the bay. Major, major improvement as far as light. The other thing we did, let me point back over here. We took this wall, that was at about a 45 degree angle from the factory, and we kicked it to a 90. That opened up more space for us to be able to put the tray in here. Now from the factory, that's automatically that way. So I'm gonna say we're trendsetters, what do you think? Hey, Alliance listens to their customers. Yep. Let's see if you guys know what this is, huh? Can you figure it out? All right, maybe they can. Starlink cable. So we have our Starlink hardwired into our trailer. When I say hardwired, meaning I don't have to put the cord in and out every time we go. 
I was able to run this in behind the pass-through wall and into our trailer. We'll show you that on the inside. Nice thing is Alliance has these little bitty openings right here, and that's where we run the wires to. That way I don't have to mess with it. Less work. And the Starlink pole. Oh, yeah. Walked around. This is a WeBoost pole, and we got it off of Mobile Must Have. We are not sponsored. We have no affiliation with and them. And we paid for it by ourselves. Yes, there you go. But it does work really, really well. Uh, it's a 25-foot pole, and as you can tell, we just Velcro it up and get it out of the way. It works out real nice. It looks like Velcro, command strip, or some sort of sticky tape and screws. Uh, I did a VHB, which is very high bond tape behind it, Velcro, and then screwed in to make sure that nothing came down. Because you know how these roads in America be. Perfect. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. Nothing ever bounces around in a trailer. Let's shut the door. Okay. Try not to slam it on you guys here. Safety, safety, safety. We talk about safety all the time, and that is a ring front door camera held on by command strips. Absolutely. And this is our spray port. Nothing special, right? Straight from the factory. But I put on a magnet. So when Martha and I are working out outside, we put our whiteboard here and we hang it outside so we can work out. Gives it somewhere up out of the way and it stays off the ground. These are my favorite stairs and because they're by Moride and guess what? There's a little latch back here. No more pins, no more pinching, no more hurry up Martha, get the stairs in. And I'm trying Chris, I'm trying. Explain to me what that little thing is. <laughs> Those are baby Crocs. We needed shoes. Actually, it gives it better stability, and they're cute. And we they're cute. They don't do anything, <laughs> but they look good. So, one of our absolutely favorite upgrades was the Moride Independent Suspension, but it lifted the back end up by five inches. I'll link the video at the end, but I'll tell you what, look. I would have a hard time reaching sometimes. So, I love the latch extender by Moride. That works great. We've had that over a year. The stairs we've had over a year and the safety rail. This is great. We put a little uh, reflective tape on there just from Walmart. Super easy. And let's say I need to get under here. It just puts away and it's held on by this magnet here too. So it gives it a nice little resistance. But I love how long it comes out because some of the handles are up there and right now we're at a high slope. So I'm gonna have to like really step up to get in. Some of the little upgrades that we've done are things that you can't really see. Let's see if I can get this back in here. So if you look right here, that's a speaker clip. So that's a stereo clip for uh, car speakers and it is on the inside of our skirting. Little things like that make a big difference so that you don't have to worry about your screws backing out because they're going in the sheet metal. And I'm sure it's never happened to anyone losing some skirting on the road. Never, does not happen, no such thing. We have quite a few things going on in this back. Let's start with up top. Up top, we have the Halo View backup camera. That's been working great. We love it. We've had it over a year and a half. What else do we have going on, Chris? Uh, we have these mounts here. You got one down below, one up above. Those are for the WeBoost pole. So when we are running Starlink and we're needed to get above our trailer, that's where the pole mounts. We also have this tracking here. That's for that long LED light strip, just to increase visibility for people behind us. So that when we're traveling, we put the blinker on so it does reverse, left, right, stop, and flashers. The other thing we put on here was just a little bit of reflective tape. We got this at the same time we got uh, the one for the rail. It works well, same thing, just visibility for those behind us because as you can tell, we travel with two bikes on a one-up rack. Again, not sponsored, just works really, really well, the one-up USA. We have the Moride stabilizer in the back. This thing has been a game changer. I'm actually very, very happy with it. It works better than I ever imagined. We have that set up on a double receiver hitch. The double receiver hitch is set up so that we can run the bikes on top and then the stabilizer down below. And then we also had to put in this little bracket right here, this little mount. This just keeps the hitch from bouncing when we travel and makes it nice and tight in the receiver. And then we have the LED light strip that we pointed out. That's just plugged into the four flat, the little towable plug. 
The cool thing about it, Chris actually had to flip it because of how we mounted it. Yeah, because it's actually mounted, it's made for a tailgate uh, of a pickup truck actually. And so I switched the left and right so that when I hit left blinker, it's actually left instead of right. And I did that because I wanted to run the wires down under the ladder versus running open on the other side. So if I'd have put it traditionally, it would have been over on the other side and the wires would have just ran right down the middle of our wall. I didn't like that cosmetically. I wanted to put it in the trim and then run it over. So I had to flip them. Yeah. The other cool part, so we have two truck bicycles underneath. We have a waterproof bike cover and this right here is reflective. Yes, it is. So it keeps it nice and safe and people can see it when the lights are on and it's dark out. But we also put a cargo net that's meant for the back of a pickup truck hold on by clips. Yep, and it's held on by carabiners. And then we also have bike locks. So you can see they're cable locked. Don't trust anybody, y'all. These things will disappear. We've heard horror stories of people losing their bikes at stoplights. Somebody will come up and grab them. Yeah. And like Chris said before, we are not sponsored by 1UP USA, but our bike rack is rated for RVs. So yep. that's important. Actually, we're not sponsored with any of this stuff. That None of that true. there. So my favorite upgrade, hoorah Air Force. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Chris. Oh, my honor. All right. Coming on long down. All right. Since we've got some room over here, we can get in here. Let's talk about this. So the much less visible upgrade and by far my favorite 100% no question asked is the Moride independent suspension. We have an 8,000 pound independent suspension set up on the tandem axle, of course, from the factory. The best part is we have the new one, it's bolted. So there is no welding, no cutting. So if we decide to upgrade to a new paradigm, or to I can take axle. it with me. Ooh. <laughs> Look at us being fancy. Right? Could happen. All right, let's talk about the sexy part. <laughs> Ooh, talk to me. Yeah, the Valterra valve. So we added a wastegate valve on the exterior of our dump tanks. Everything on the Paradigms run out to one location. So for this one, we went with the Valterra. The reason I went with the Valterra is, as you can see, you've got nuts and bolts here. If anything happens to this valve, I can unbolt this and bolt a new one in because I did glue it into my piping. So I wanted something that I could replace. But this makes sure when you're traveling that if there's anything left in the pipes that you don't get a nasty surprise when you get to where you're going. Bug screens. I don't know if you use them. You have mixed emotions. Some people say it voids warranties. I think it's important. Mud daubers are a big problem in the south and we don't want to catch any critters in our trailer. So we've got it on our water heater and on our furnace. Yeah, check with your RV manufacturer and go with their suggestions. They yep. suggested that for us. You guys know I'm all about that snobby water life. So we have our clear source here and we just got a little um, bag for it. So it keeps it insulated and the best part is by the handle, you pick it up. I'm not going to do it now because it's full of water, but we love it. Uh, Chris added these quick connects by Blue Tech. We're not sponsored by them, but we did like their hoses. And it makes it a lot better. Water pressure gauge and water softener. So everything is held on by quick connects, which makes setting up and breaking down so much easier. You can tell we run it right in. The nice thing about the Blue Tech hoses is they're braided. Um, again, not sponsored, just works. So we're using Blue Tech hoses with a mobile H2O, H2O softener and a clear source triple filter. Some of the other upgrades that we've done on this side is a paper towel holder. You never know how often you need a paper towel when you're setting up water just to wipe it up. We also put, there's the on off switch for the lights because it's 12 volt, we can run it on both sides. So Chris is all about command strips and hooks. We have a little clear plastic hook over here and that's to get our little clear source containers off so we can change the filter, check on them. It's just a little things. The save a drop right here. So this is my black tank. This one stays on here at all times. We never pull this off. But when I'm back flushing after flooding my trailer, I learned a valuable lesson. We keep this on here so that we can see how many gallons we're putting in the tank so we never have another crappy situation. Yeah. Deployable solar panels. So Chris put these little straps here and I'm sure he drilled, yep, he drilled them into the wall, into the board, but it keeps them in place and safe and not breaking. The other thing we've done, little bitty ring sensor. So every bay and door in this trailer has a ring alarm on it. That way we know if anybody opens it up. This is the other side. So this is the other four inch fan that I talked about on the other side for the thermostat. And along with, of course, battery disconnects and a massive solar system. The other side. 
another propane tank and gas stop. If you don't have gas stop, we recommend it. You'll see that we talk about ring quite a bit. We use the ring alarm system on the trailer. What I like about it is that little puck you see right there is a water and freeze sensor. So if there's any water that happens behind our Nautilus Bay, that thing goes off. And honestly, three different times it has saved our butt. We didn't know that there was water leaking. Yeah, and we didn't know because before we got the quick connects, we had something else up there and it just wiggled loose. So this is version two, and the reason I say version two is we had a watchdog before and it actually burned up. So we uh, decided to go with wireless communications, Southwire Surge Guard. I like this one specifically because of course it's a surge protector, does all the normal things that a uh, EMS does, but I actually have a monitor inside the trailer so I can see what's going on in each leg. And I'll show you that when we get inside. As Martha mentioned, we do run a uh, adjustable pressure regulator for our water off the braided hoses. Safety, safety, safety. Oh, one other thing about our pin box. Our purple pool noodle. Hey. So we put that there because we had a bird's nest. So we put a purple pool noodle on that side and I put a foam knee pad that was cut down on the other side and that keeps the birds out of our trailer. What you got there, Chris, looks fancy. It's a wall saver. It's not really what it's made for, but it works really well. It's a command strip piece from 3M. It's made to hold brooms in a residence, but we needed to just find a way to repurpose this. So we've got the latch extender, as we've mentioned, and what we're looking for was a way to hold it up against the wall. So on windy days, it would keep the door open and not bang up against the wall. The other thing we have out here that we've changed, this is a Bauer keypad lock and we rekeyed the entire trailer to one key. I love it. Yeah, we're not sponsored by Bauer. We actually bought this uh, for our Valor, our toy hauler, and yep. moved it over. Now it comes factory keyed alike. Time to go inside. Woohoo! So on the door, we have a screen defender, and that's made for pets. Right here. And then we have a little slingshot, so that helps it close on its own. That'll close itself. And then we have our MCD shade that they made when we went to the factory and had them do our whole entire coach. They made one for our screen door so we can close it and open it from the inside. And there's Callie. Hi, sweet girl. Say hi, America. A lot of the upgrades that you're going to see in this trailer are things that look like they came from the factory. We wanna do everything we can to make our trailer look like it absolutely blown this way. We put these little wavy plastic, little corrugated plastic from Alliance. They have insets throughout our trailer, but there was nothing there. I wanted to make it look a little nicer, so we got the plastic and I installed it there. Coming over to the door, you'll see more ring, right? We talk about the alarms, we gotta have that everywhere. It does two things for us. One, it makes sure that Cali doesn't get out because the door's not open, we get notified if it does. Two, if unfortunately somebody wants to do something bad, we'll at least have an alarm to notify us. As we mentioned, we have ring everywhere. We also have the nice handle for our screen door, which is helpful just to open and close it. Uh, we have the window shade from MCD. This thing is awesome. We picked this up while we were at the factory. Again, not sponsored, not paying us to do this. This is a option that we found that we like because you can put it on the inside, you can roll it up how you want, but if you want darkness, it's just as simple as letting it go down and you're good, your door's blacked out and you can do it from the inside without opening your door. Pretty awesome. That is, and I love that it's oversized and, oversized and it blocks a lot of light. Speaking of MCD, we love our day night shades. So these are our night shades. These are a little thicker than what came from the factory and the ones that came from the factory were black. Yes, they were great, they worked, but having the ability to have day shades is amazing. So the day shades block a lot of the light, the UV light, and you can still see out. So we went with black by their recommendation at MCD and nighttime. Anybody that's followed us for a long time knows we're absolutely stereophiles. I love, love good quality music. LG surround system, it's a 7.1 system with Dolby Atmos. We have it mounted to the back wall. Nice thing is when we travel, we just lift it out and set it down. It's perfect. And we get full surround sound in our RV. Yep, we have a subwoofer behind the couch. And our sound bar goes right on our fireplace. 
Cool thing about RV Life, organization. We found this on Amazon, it was like 10 bucks and it holds our remotes. And we actually keep them there on travel days too, haven't had an issue. This is our most recent upgrade and by far the most important. We have a custom built desk from Alliance RV. They took out the rear couch back here and installed a two person workstation for us. So Martha and I now have to put this in perspective size wise, these are 32 inch monitors for each of us. And as you can tell, we have power outlets on both sides. We have drawers down the middle. This gave us the solution we have been looking for. So now when we're in an RV park backed up to a beautiful lake, which we spend a lot of time at, then we can see right out the back. There's some other things up here that are hidden that are great. Don't get mad. It's garbage. No. <laughs> what do we do with these? So this is simply a poster board, a 99 cent poster board. And we didn't want to see through the smoky glass. There you go. It's just reflective and it protects the glass too. One of our favorite newer modifications, super easy to do. We changed out the gold handles to black ones and that matches the new black ornaments on our dresser drawers and also our faucet. So it looks like it should have been here the whole time. That's the goal. So the other thing that I've done, again, goes back to that whole stereo file thing. We put a full motion TV mount on here so that one, we can get in behind it and actually utilize the space because as you see, there's a lot of space behind this. So on travel days, we're able to put things back here and keep them out of the way. And while you have that out, there's a backlit behind the TV because Martha is a little extra and likes the extra pretty lights. And our extra remotes go in a little caddy up above there organization skills. Yep. And then you see this is the main brain for our alarm system. And the nice thing about this little sticker light that's on the back of the TV is it plugs into the USB that's already on the TV. So it's just running off the 12 volt. Awesome setup. We have the LG soundbar. We run an Apple TV. And of course, as everything in this RV, we blow holes. So we uh, drilled holes through the back here and then up into here. So you have no wires coming across the front whatsoever. One of the things we love about Alliance is this little feature here. We have nothing to do with this. There's no modifications. It's just really cool. It's a lot of storage. It's a lot of storage. It's just our gas fireplace and they put the storage underneath it. Did you come down here and talk about our beloved little Cali station? So our beautiful Cali girl who has taken over the couch, this is her little setup. So she's got a placemat and we got a newer doggy bowl for her because this one is much smaller and narrower because we kept kicking the other one. And of course, I heart Callie because who doesn't love Callie? So there's some little things again, look like they're here from the factory. These are custom. So these are one offs that were, uh, we were able to get and it gave us a matching color to our cabinets, but gave us contrast from the factory. So these inserts are there. The other thing we upgraded are these lights. So if you've seen the video on that, we changed these out. These look like gold and brown egg corns before. Now we have these nice pendant lights. One of my favorite things in the kitchen is using my Ninja Foodie air fryer and underneath it, venture some couple cutting board. And we so do that to increase our counter space. It makes it so much easier to work on the counter and be able to have spots where we can cook and prep. It's pretty good setup. And of course, I love my magnetic knife holder. That's a must. That is. I do take the knives down on travel day. You don't have to. They say you don't have to, but we why, do. Ch why chance it? Because Murphy. Come on over here. Let's show them under the sink because that's the sexy part. Okay. So under the sink, one of the things Martha wanted was a pull-out garbage can. Yeah, it's got garbage in it, y'all. Sorry. That's real life. <laughs> and underneath that, of course, we've got a... Oh, open the door. Ta-da! Command strips. <laughs> Chris Somebody awesome. called me, what did they call me? Uh, Captain, Captain Command, Command Strip. Strip. <laughs> I embrace that. Uh, and you'll see why. So a lot of the stuff we have is Command Strip based because it doesn't damage. And the nice part is we can reuse it or move it as our tastes change without hurting the RV. Yeah, so what Chris was just playing with, those are baby locks. A friend of ours had some extras and gave us three. So we put one on the fridge and one on each side of the freezer. And that's actually held up and we've had that since May. Yeah, this year. and it has been hot, hot, hot on travel days with a lot of humidity and there's been no problems there. So that's worked out really well. Coming around to this, uh, what is normally called the coffee bar, but we don't put coffee here. We made some modifications. So remember I said the uh, Starlink were permanently 
mounted. So these are our wires for our Starlink. So we just put the router right here on the top when we're using Starlink. We also hardwired in our ring um, alarm panel so we can, you know, turn it on, turn it off right with excuse me, right when we walk in the front door. So this one was a little bit of a heart attack for Martha because I actually had to cut a hole in the bottom of our, or in the top of our cabinet. But, you know, she forgave me. Yeah, I was not prepared for him to drill a hole in the countertop. But... So let's see if you can see it under here. The other thing that I did is I put in a, uh, just a little bit of a switch down here. And this is where our wires come in from the back in the pass-through bay. So I actually drilled a hole through the wall and put a grommet in there and ran the wire in and then up and that way nothing sticks out. It looks really nice but it's a custom touch for us. I have to give Chris props because I was not prepared for him to drill a hole over here but he put one of those little office uh, desk, grommets, desk or... grommets. So we have one there, we have three in the entertainment center and fireplace total. Well, they can't see that here. If you look on this side, you'll see where I ran it out of the back again to hide the wires. I don't want any of the wires sticking out. And Chris likes things, everything nice and clean. So he does clip all the wires together. And then he put one on each side of the desk, which I'll link the desk video at the end. You'll see that. A we very inconspicuous update is this. So the factory in 2021 when this trailer was manufactured used wood structure to build the stairs. Since then they've come out with this awesome setup with these steel stair risers. So we had ours upgraded and got rid of the wood that was in here and got this steel from the factory with our normal treads. So this has been nice. It's really stable, no wiggling. I like that quite a bit. And the little rug runners, that's for Callie. That helps her go up and down the stairs without her slipping because she was kind of having problems. I mean, she is a senior doggy. She's seven she an and old a lady. half. <laughs> but she still got it. There you go. So come on up. More organization. We have a little clutter catcher and our key hooks. Yeah, and we have a couple little screws that hold it in and it's held up nicely. We talked about the surge guard outside and I said, there's a monitor. This is the monitor I was talking about. It shows our volts, our amps, and what our draws on kilowatts. Right now we're plugged in, but we have everything turned off so you guys can hear us. The other thing I like, if there's any faults with the system, it'll tell us, we can monitor right here. These micro airs, these are the wireless Wi-Fi or Bluetooth thermostats. We have them set up to each one of our um, AC units in the trailer so we can monitor our temperature and turn them on and off as needed while we're out on the road. Yeah, which is great. So we have two in the hall because we have the two air conditioners out here in the living space and one in the bedroom for the bedroom AC. We also, another ring item, you'll see a lot of themes with this. This is a listener for the fire, um, our smoke detector. There we go, words are difficult. So when I'm cooking bacon, the whole RV park knows. Yes, because <laughs> the fire extinguisher, or the fire extinguisher, <laughs> The smoke detector goes off and then the ring alarm goes off because it hears this and then it goes off. So I'm not allowed to cook bacon in the RV anymore. That's why we take it outside. Here, you're going to go in and talk about the sexy room. <laughs> and this is where the magic happens. <laughs> so this summer we had our shower doors taken out by Alliance and then they put the little screws in, added a couple command strips for our towels, um, shower curtain rod, we have the liner and shower curtain so it freed us about 100 pounds yeah so it's that little give and take we got rid of 100 pounds but the cargo tray we love is 150 so there you go there you go there's little things that we like that make a difference to us so this arm right here was not there so that's this piece right here this wasn't there from the factory now it is but it wasn't on ours so that's a cool thing about our rv manufacturer you can buy anything from the parts department so this is something on there it comes with one shower caddy holder well we got a second one why his and hers Yep. And wh what we think about the 340, this is the perfect couples coach. And we are biased. We'll tell you that because we own it. Why? Six foot shower, dual workstation, mm -hmm. king size RV bed. Pretty freaking awesome. I love it. So where our little max fan is when you need to vent at night, we close that. This is a little um, add-on that Chris did, uh, I think from Bauer. Bauer, Bauer yeah. makes it. It's a vent cover. So this is the max air fan and that cover you can't see it, but it's got the reflective type stuff on the other side. But what it does is it protects us from the light that burns. So Chris is going to talk about our Air Direct, but in the other bedroom. But this is two of the Air Directs from RV Airflow Systems. All right. So the bedroom. 
We have one ducted AC in this RV, which this is the only one that's ducted. As you can tell, you've got two vents here and the two that Martha just showed in the bathroom. We have the full RV airflow system. So we have the insert, which gave us about 40% increase in airflow into our vents. And it got rid of the direct dump because Callie sleeps here. That worked out really, really well. And now these are the new vents from RV airflow and they're called air direct. So this whole combination was about a 47% increase in our airflow and efficiency from one AC. And the nice thing is this is only a 13.5 AC. This isn't a 15K AC. You'll have to watch the video on this. Martha, I'll have a link below. But this upgrade has been incredible and an absolute must. I see another ring camera, Mr. Peters. <laughs> oh, why? Well, that not, ain't for what you think it's for. We're not those kind of YouTubers, y'all. No. This is for Callie. So we do have three cameras that we put throughout the trailer. We have two in the main living area and one in the bedroom because when we're out and about, we want to keep an eye on Callie. We keep an eye on the temperature. We keep an eye on the barometric, not excuse me, barometric pressure. Yes, it does monitor that, but no, that's not what I care about. But let's try this again. We keep an, an eye on the temperature and the humidity for Callie. And the ring will let us know where she's at in the trailer. The micro airs and the Ruvies, which is part of our solar system, will tell us what the temperatures are. And everything is wirelessly controlled so that if there's a concern, we get a notification and we can get our butt back. We never go far from Cali and we always want to be able to keep an eye on her. Yeah, and what she'll end up doing is, I don't know why I have a white bedspread on our bed. With Look at the doggy fur, Martha. We went outside to record the outside of this video for you and she jumped on the bed. We forgot to close the bedroom door and let's show them real quick how we would normally close the bedroom door when we're not here. Yeah, so this set up two different things. We'll start with the bathroom. We found that Callie likes to explore. So we put a second little clip that we got from Alliance here so we can close the door. So there's one that closes it and then there's one from the factory that holds it open. So this is the travel setup here. And then when we don't want Callie in here, we put the second one here and that keeps Callie out. And that's because she got into the trash one too many times. Yep, so this door, same thing. We put a clip here and then we put this here and that keeps the door closed so she can't snoot it and open it. So it keeps her out of our bedroom when we don't want her in there. And the reason why we don't want her in here normally when we're gone is because she'll jump up and down on the bed and she is seven and a half and that's not good for her hips. Right, it's hard on her hips. So back to my, uh, well, there's a, there's a story behind this. Martha likes to use this as a stand-up workstation. So she convinced me that she needed a 42 inch? Nope, 43 inch, 4K. HDTV. Yep. So we upgraded the factory one and put a 43 inch TV in here. And then we have a little Bose sound bar that we mounted. And honestly, this combination for watching TV in bed and working as a secondary office is actually really a nice setup. It is, it's turned out well. I just love picking on her because it was a sales pitch that I need this TV. I needed it. It was better than the one that came from the factory because that was 32 inch and it was hard to edit with that. Yep. So come over here. Let's go into the closet. You can show them what we got going on in there. Okay. So from the factory, that was the lights we got. You get two pop lights. Yes. It's laundry day. So, <laughs> all right. This is what Chris added. Ta-da! Ta-da! And these are just LED lights that I think we got from Walmart and we actually repurposed it from when we had the Valor 42 V13 toy hauler that was in the garage for our desk. Oh, those command strips that Chris talked about that holds the bar, we had extra ones because we don't have the broom in here anymore. We had an extra and we used it for our latch extender. So coming in here, we've got a couple different things. That's where we put our vacuum. So this is washer and dryer prepped, but we didn't want to use the dedicated circuit for a washer and dryer. So we hardwired in a, an emergency radio, and then we also have our vacuum there. On the other side, since we didn't have it, it's just more storage. But if you look in the back, we have command strips holding for like hats, and then you see that's where the washer would be there. And this is a very nice closet. It's huge. It's finished really well. And like I said, we made some modifications to it. One of the cool upgrades is creating a shoe cubby below our dresser. Before it had a false wall and at the RV rally last year from Alliance, some of the techs were like, hey, we could make you a shoe cubby. And so they finished it with the same trim as the dresser. So it looks like it should have been there the whole time. And now 
they have that in their newer RVs. It'll hold six pairs of shoes. And then if you could flip this up for me here, underneath here, we put a little shoe holder. This came from... It was Camping World, and we got it like a little over two years ago, and it was like 20 bucks, I think. Yeah, yeah. and then the same thing. It'll hold six pairs of shoes. So between that, it covers uh, at least half of Martha's shoes. <laughs> right, and you can double up on the flip-flops. Yeah, uh, you can, there's also some other things that we recommend doing. Um, no, not that bit. Uh, if you're going to be in your trail on a regular basis, you got to be really careful with mold and your bed sweating. I know that sounds really weird, but you have to have something under there. And that's called a Dendry. And that's just a mat that we picked up on Amazon. But it, we've never had a concern about any kind of moisture or mildew or anything yeah and we've seen some situations where people's uh, plywood would mold so we don't want to have that yeah we do check on that a lot just to make sure we're still safe we have a brooklyn bedding bed uh, by rv mattress and of course that was a lot thicker so we ended up taking this piece the bed piece and cutting off about six inches and then just remounting it so it looks exactly the same yeah and we like the headboard because it does complement the colors in here and the valances and we didn't want to change it so we shorten it. Yep. Like we keep saying, it's the little things that make all the difference. So these little guides for the barn doors are awesome. These are not the factory ones. The factory ones were little clear plastics and I really didn't like them. These are metal and we have them on every barn door. And what we found is they don't move. The plastic ones popped out as we traveled and your barn doors start swinging. So little things like this make life convenient and it's less work and less maintenance. Another little convenience item, we have heavy magnets on these trailer doors. All of our little doors have them. This little piece right here is from RV Doodads, again, not sponsored. And it's just a little piece of metal with rubber over it. But what we found is it makes a big difference on not having to really pull on the door. You see it opens really easy, but without it, you hear it's a lot of extra effort. So we're trying to be as gentle as we can. Easy in, easy out, not yanking on our doors. Yep, and we take those magnet blockers out before travel day. Yeah, because otherwise, ta-da, all your stuff falls out. Yeah, and if we're at like a harvest house overnight stay somewhere just for a night, we'll take them out or we'll not put them in. Got to move Callie's bed. Yeah, so we had to bring a bed back in for Callie. So this is her little outdoor bed and we have a mat and then she's got a little canopy that goes over the top for when it's all hot and sunny out and she just wants to be outside, but she loves her bed. And she loves our couch too. Yeah, our couch. Well, I think it's her couch now. It says reserved for the dog. <laughs> Were you the dog? Maybe. <laughs> These are quite a bit of upgrades. Some of them held up against the test of time. Some of them are more recent. And this isn't all of them. We've got a lot more to show. Go back and look at our videos on our channel. We have a lot of in-depth tips and tricks and things that we've gone through. If you want to see the stupidest thing we ever did, watch this next video.